Hi, my name is Chris Ryan. Welcome to the Forest of Arden. Today we're talking all about the setup with the iron clubs. We're talking specifically about where your hand should be at setup and how this can influence your golf swing. So welcome to your Friday. This is where you can get involved and help me with the content. If you've got a topic you'd like me to cover, you've got a question you'd like me to answer, or maybe it's just a swing fault that you've been struggling with, you can let me know and hopefully I can do a video to help you. Let me know in the comments box down below. You can also get in touch with me via Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. And as I say, hopefully I will do a video for you. So today is a response to a comment via Facebook from Stephen Baird, who is talking all about the setup and where to position the hands. Now, as you can see there, Stephen had said that he was under the impression, as many of you might be, that he had seen a lot of instruction out there suggesting that at setup, the club shaft should be pretty much in line with the lead forearm, such as this. So that would be sort of handle forwards. However, uh, he said that he has seen a lot of professionals, uh, a lot of even coaches on YouTube, who actually set up with the club shaft a lot closer to vertical. And he was just wondering, you know, what the pros and what the cons would be of each of those positions. So where the handle is positioned to impact would be, for me, something that would be a little bit more of a preference. It wouldn't be something like a, you must do this. Um, there are a few things within the golf swing which are kind of must do's. Um, you must, you know, hit the ground in the same place every time. You must strike the middle of the golf club, etc., etc. This is not one of those must do's, but there are certainly some pros and some cons to doing this. Let's go through those. So let me take a starting position. And you'll notice that I've got the club shaft pretty close to vertical here. Now, when I place my lead hand on, and we're gonna assume that my grip is pretty neutral, you can see how in my left wrist, there's quite a little bit of shape, okay? We call that extension. So when the wrist is moving this way, we call it extension. So as I, at setup, I've got quite a bit of extension. Now, when I hit the golf ball, especially with my line clubs, I would like to have the handle forwards, and I would like to have my lead wrist pretty flat. So you can see now that my lead hand or my lead wrist is much flatter than it was at address. So the key thing here would be we want the majority of golfers with their iron clubs to have a flat lead wrist at impact. So if I start with my club shaft fairly neutral, I'm going to have some amount of extension in that lead wrist. What this means is through this backswing, so through the backswing and through the downswing, I need to take that lead wrist from this extended position and I need to flatten it. Now what you would tend to see happens with a lot of golfers is they will do that as they move the club into the backswing. So at this point here I've already flattened off that lead wrist. From here I can maintain that flat wrist all the way up to the top, right the way down through my downswing and then obviously transfer that into impact. There are some other golfers, um, Henrik Stenson, Justin Rose would be good examples of golfers who maintain some amount of extension all the way up to the top, so they have a little bit of a cup to wrist here, but as they start down that will flatten out and allow them to deliver the club with a flat wrist at impact. The most common problem that we see with golfers, especially if you're a golfer who loses the ball out to the right, a, a fader of the golf ball, a slicer of the golf ball, is that through the golf swing, this wrist, which has some extension at the setup, will never, unfortunately, flatten out. So it will stay extended right through the backswing, right through to the downswing. Club face at this point is there too far open and they have to release the club much earlier. So if I get a golfer who really just struggle to flatten that wrist out through the goal swing, what we can often find is that if we get that golfer to set up with the hand a little bit more forwards, that actually sets that lead wrist closer to where it would be at impact at the setup. Therefore, it can often be easier for this golfer to maintain that flat wrist as they swing through. I find that when I do this, it's much easier for me to flatten out my wrist earlier in that goal swing. So, in answer to your question, Stephen, if you would take a look at my goal swing, I tend to have the club shaft pretty vertical. I don't tend to have a lot of forward lean. Now, if you look at my golf thing, I flatten out my lead wrist pretty early. I maintain that and I deliver it with a flat wrist. So if you were to say to me, let's move the handle more forward at setter, it's not really going to give me a huge advantage. I'm not really going to benefit from that. But if you're a golfer who struggles with club face control, you struggle with getting the face open through that extended wrist and you find it difficult to flatten that, then for that golfer, handle being forward at setup will promote some really, really good things in that golf thing. So this 
you know, this isn't a one size fits all. That's why, you know, maybe there is a little bit of, not confusion out there, but some golfers say that you want it sort of forwards set up and you'll see some of the some of the best players in the world not demonstrating that and it all really depends on the golfer if you're a golfer who struggles to to get that lead wrist flat then definitely i would encourage you to start with the handle more forwards your wrist is going to be much flatter that's going to be much easier for you to control that golf club and that wrist through the golf swing. hopefully that clears up a few of those ideas and gives you why some of these golfers might want to set up with a handle more forwards compared to some of the others hopefully that helps your question as I said at the start, if you have got a question that you would like me to answer, pop it in the comments box down below or get in touch with me via my social media feeds and we can hopefully do a video for you. Right, let me go ahead and hit one. I've only got a six iron here. Uh, so we're just going to sort of chip one down there, but I'm just going to show you my starting position. So you will see that my handle doesn't tend to be particularly far forward at address, but I will flatten that wrist out as I make my backswing. Handle position, it is individual. It won't be saying one fits all. It will depend a little bit on how you swing the golf club. Thank you very much for watching. Usual stuff, as always, is below. Comments box, like button, also a link to subscribe. Click that link if you're not already a subscriber. It means you won't miss any of the upcoming videos on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.